Insights in Parallels Browser Isolation has three views. The first is live reports. This shows you what's going on right now. So in this view, it's showing you the number of users who are connected and where they're connected to. We've then got user events. So this is an audit of everything all of the users collectively have done, whether they've been allowed to do it or whether they haven't. We'll come back to that. And then you've got admin events. So this is an audit of all of the administrator events that have happened in the console that you're looking at. But let's just go back to user events. One of the really good and useful things that the user events screen has got is it tells me which URLs have been denied. So this is really handy when I'm trying to set up permissions for a web app. So as we've established in a previous video, if you go and have a look at the applications video, you can walk through that. When I try and access a URL that's outside of the published URL of a web app, I'm automatically denied access to that. When that user is denied access to that, that is what appears in this view. So what I'm able to do is when I'm setting up the app, uh, click on the links that I want to be able to work. They will fail. I will come back into the audit view and we'll be able to rectify that situation. In this example, you can see that there's a URL which is kb.parallels.com that's been denied. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our web app and we're going to allow a domain. Now, we are allowing the parent domain, so parallels.com. We could specifically allow kb.parallels.com here and that would only allow that subdomain to be used. Here we're putting in the parent domain of parallels.com, which means if any of the other links need any of the other subdomains within parallels.com, they would also work as well. So let's go and test that out in a web app. We open the web app and then we click on a link that's gonna take us outside of the URL that is published. And rather than get denied, that now works. If we come back again and we try and open a, another link which is launching in parallels.com but this time not in the knowledge base we can see that that also works to show you what that looks like back in insights if you look on the right hand side you can see the first links were to myparallels.com that was the login page that appeared i then clicked on a knowledge base article which is kb.parallels.com i then clicked on a live status page that was status.parallels.com. Because I'd allowed the parent domain of parallels.com, that's what allowed my web app to access those URLs. So this is one of the things that makes the Insights page really useful, specifically when you're looking at setting up web apps. And it brings us to the end of this Tech Bytes video on Parallels Browser Isolation Insights. To find out more about Parallels Browser Isolation, tune in to the other videos in this Tech Bytes series.